good morning everyone thank you for uh, taking time out to attend today's webinar crm in s4 hana roadmap architecture and uh, business processes by accrete solution a sap partner uh, before we get started uh, i would like to go over a couple of uh, housekeeping items if you have any questions during the presentation please type them into the question box in your uh, go to webinar control panel we will uh, bring them up during the presentation and we will also have time uh, for questions uh, at the end this webinar is being uh, recorded and will be sent to you following the presentation for your own purpose or uh, to share with uh, uh, others uh, let's start with uh, a short poll uh, so here uh, we have uh, a first poll question i would request you to uh, respond on uh, our first question here we go Let's go to our uh, second question. You can uh, select uh, multiple uh, option. Here we have our last uh, poll question. Again, uh, multiple options. Thank you for uh, sharing your responses. Now I would like to introduce uh, today's presenters, Ashish Saxena. He is Vice President uh, SAP Solutions at uh, Accrete and Sandeep Salaria, Technical Architect at Accrete. Uh, I would request uh, both of our experts to take a minute and tell us a uh, little bit about uh, yourself and what you do over Accrete. Let's uh, start with Ashish. Ashish. Yeah, hi, good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon. I guess we have people across the globe on this uh, webinar. Uh, so I'm basically responsible for uh, uh, you know, uh, project delivery uh, at Accrete uh, for uh, you know, US projects or global projects. And uh, I have about 25 plus years of experience in delivering and architecting SAP solutions uh, in, and processes, including end-to-end -end service to cash, order to cash, digital commerce, uh, you know, uh, supply chain, uh, inventory management, and record to report. Uh, I've also worked on multiple SAP uh, products, uh, starting from SAP R3 to ECC to SAP CRM. Uh, now, also, I've recently worked on S4 HANA and uh, C4 HANA uh, uh, products like uh, sales cloud, service cloud, uh, commerce cloud. Uh, that's in a nutshell about me, Sandeep. Thank you, Ashish. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. My name is Sandeep Salari, and I am going to talk about the technical architecture in S4 HANA for customer management. I have around 15 years of SAP experience in design and implementation, and have industry experience in heavy equipment, semiconductors consumer electronics, retail, and real estate. I have worked on a broad range of sales services and marketing processes. 
extensively in CRM web UI, ALE, middleware integration, lean order interface, IPC routines in CRM, T4C, and currently I'm involved in S4 HANA for customer management. Thank you. Over to you, Ashish. Okay, so the agenda what we have for today is we're going to uh, talk about uh, primarily about uh, S4 HANA customer management. <clears throat> and I would refer to it as CM as a short form. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about uh, what is SAP C4 HANA and how does uh, what is, how does it relate to S4 HANA CM. Uh, we'll also talk about the architecture and data model and user user interfaces uh, and what's the migration strategy from uh, SAP CRM or from SAP CS uh, to S4 HANA CM. And uh, we'll also do a quick demo. Uh, our field service uh, and then we'll have some time left for questions uh, you are most welcome to put in questions and uh, uh, you know whatever questions we can answer we'll answer so going on to the next slide uh, these are the sap crm offerings so you know sap crm which is the on premise system uh, which many of you are already familiar with uh, you know is being sunset you know and uh, it obviously has sales service, marketing, uh, internet sales uh, functionalities. Uh, then S4 HANA for CM, uh, which is what we're gonna talk about in more detail a little later on. Uh, all the yellow boxes are really S, uh, C4 HANA, uh, which comprises of uh, commerce cloud, sales cloud, uh, service cloud, customer cloud, and uh, field service cloud. So customer cloud is really a gig acquisition which you might know, and uh, field service cloud is uh, primarily core systems acquisition. Uh, SAP actually calls it service cloud, but you know field service cloud is really a part of uh, uh, service cloud. And uh, then you also have SAP Business One, uh, which also has CRM functionality, uh, you know some basic CRM functionality on leads and uh, activities, opportunities, etc., and sales order processing, which is really for uh, small and medium-sized uh, businesses. Uh, earlier, the SAP it was called SAP C4C, which was really uh, SAP, which has now been, which is now called SAP Sales Cloud and Service Cloud. So it's basically split into two. Uh, then uh, there is another offering for SAP Contact Center and SAP Engagement Center. So SAP Contact Center is really the software-based uh, IP telephony. Uh, the old BCM, and uh, this actually can be integrated with S4 HANA uh, customer management uh, as well uh, for chats, you know, uh, chats, uh, emails, uh, uh, telephone calls, etc. Uh, the SAP Engagement Center is really designed uh, for uh, high risk commerce, which is now commerce cloud or digital commerce and it can be used for creating service tickets and uh, order management uh, capabilities. So this is a nutshell about SAP's CRM offerings. There are a few more, like you might have heard of Calidus. Uh, Calidus got acquired by SAP and it's really part of SAP Sales Cloud uh, in terms of performance management, et cetera. Uh, so we, let's move to the next slide. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, SAP C4 HANA on this. So. Based on the previous slide, as I said earlier, uh, these contains of five core components, uh, marketing, commerce, sales, service, and customer data. So in marketing, it is uh, primarily about uh, customer profiling, customer segmentation, uh, marketing automation, and loyalty management. Uh, this is basically a hybrid uh, solution which was acquired and it's now the uh, marketing cloud solution. Uh, SAP Commerce Cloud, which is which was previously Hybris Commerce, is primarily for product catalog. We got an excellent uh, uh, PIM engine, uh, and uh, it, you can do order management and uh, B2B and B2C and B2B2C uh, commerce. It's it's really used for you know a digital transformation projects. It's quite commonly used as a basis. Now SAP Sales Cloud was again the previous SAP C4C. Uh, is the sales cloud. Uh, you can see some blues, uh, you know, lines, and those are the those are the functionality which exist in the sales cloud, as well as in S SAP S4 HANA for customer management. 
So for example, leads, opportunities, CPQ, customer master data management uh, also exist in uh, sales, SAP Sales Cloud and SAP S4 HANA for CM. Uh, the other functionality of say, sales planning, performance management, and uh, partner channel and order contract, etc., uh, is really part of the uh, sales cloud uh, solution, including leads opportunities and other stuff, which you can also do offline and it's mobile enabled, etc. Uh, the order contract billing and invoicing is really SAP subscription management or revenue cloud, uh, which is also treated as part of sales cloud. Uh, SAP service cloud. Uh, comprises of uh, field service and which is the core systems acquisition so it includes field service self service customer feedbacks uh, service operations etc uh, the it also has the the customer service piece of uh, you know service ticketing uh, cti integration uh, you know call center functionalities etc now out of that uh, omni channel engagement which is really the interaction center and service management, which was in SAP CRM service management, uh, that uh, resides in SAP S4 HANA for customer management, also in addition to being in the SAP service cloud. Now, when should you use what, et cetera? Uh, which customers should use what in which scenarios? We have some slides later on, and we'll talk a little more in detail about that. SAP customer data cloud is basically for customer identity management and consent management. Uh, so this is just to give you a brief idea about what is SAP C4 HANA and how does it relate to all the SAP CRM offerings. And now we'll go to the next slide, which is going to talk primarily about uh, SAP S4 HANA uh, customer management. So SAP, uh, basically SAP S4 HANA for customer management is kind of a mirror solution of SAP CRM. Most of the good features of SAP CRM uh, are there in customer man S4 HANA for customer management. It is uh, on-premise add-on solution. So you have to basically download it and install it in uh, S4 HANA. Now there is uh, a cloud solution also, which has been released by, on I think version S4 HANA 1811, uh, which has much lesser functionality than the on-prem version. And on-prem version definitely has more functionality. Uh, so it, it, as I said earlier, it covers sales service uh, interaction center, which has the uh, uh, key uh, functionalities which are de uh, delivered here. The biggest advantage here is that there is no middleware. So as you guys, you know, who's done SAP CRM and SAP ECC or S4 HANA integration would know there is, uh, there are a lot of issues with data replication, uh, you know, data get, objects getting lo uh, locked, or missing data, master data did not replicate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Those errors would be eliminated since there is no middleware, and it is really a part of S4 HANA. So, if you look at the right diagram on the right, uh, at the bottom you have the HANA database. Uh, the CRM tables do exist, but they are in the S4 HANA database schema format, uh, and many of the CRM tables probably are not used. Uh, mostly it be S4 HANA tables which are used. Uh, and another big advantage is there is uh, no Java and no T-Rex and no IPC. Uh, that has been replaced. So pricing, uh, we use S4 HANA pricing and uh, you use S4 HANA billing natively, uh, which, which, which is used for, uh, which is replacing IPC. And the configuration part of it, you use advanced variance, variant configuration. Uh, in S4 HANA, uh, which helps in pretty much performing the functions of IPC. Uh, in addition, uh, you also have a, a user interface, which has been, uh, it's more like a Fury user base, Fury look and feel user interface, but it's primarily SAP uh, CRM web client uh, kind of interface also. Uh, it is optimized. Uh, the, for the CRM one order framework for the HANA database. And again, you know, uh, Sandeep will talk a little more about on the data modeling and architecture, etc. But this is just to give you a brief overview of uh, what is S4 HANA CM and you know, uh, how, it's, how it's going to look like, we'll show you in a minute. Uh, next slide, please. 
Uh, one more thing which I forgot to mention was that uh, uh, not all SAP CRM functionalities have been uh, brought over. So the functionalities like industry solutions, except utilities, uh, the partner channel management, uh, there is no groupware, uh, there is no TPM, there is no provider contracts, there is no marketing attributes. So there is uh, still uh, a lot of work to be done in s hana CM to basically be very uh, similar to what SAP CRM provides. And there is, uh, there is a simplification item catalog uh, where you can search and see what, what functionality, functionality is available in S4 HANA CM, uh, which SAP is obviously keeps on updating. Uh, so in this slide, we have some uh, comparison done between uh, S4 HANA CM and uh, C4 HANA, just to give an idea of uh, what are the different uh, how do how do both the things work uh, so s4 hana is really an on-premise add-on it will become uh, part of the s4 hana core uh, by 1909 release which is released in september time frame uh, as i already mentioned there is a cloud-based s4 hana cm as well now c4 hana is really a collection of uh, multiple cloud-based softwares it's only primarily cloud-based and again, you know, it's sales, service, marketing, and commerce, and customer. Uh, the user interface for S4 HANA is based on SAP CRM web client UI, and the new theme Belize is used for making it look like the look like Fury. Now, in in S4 HANA, C4 HANA, since you have multiple products, you know, commerce obviously works on HTML pages and JSP uh, sales. Cloud and service cloud use SAP UI designer. Uh, marketing cloud front end is based on UI5. And uh, for marketing cloud, you have uh, you know, UI extensions as well. Now, integration with S4 HANA, there is no middleware, so there is no need to integrate with S4 HANA. Uh, C4 HANA does have SAP CPI, which is SAP Cloud Platform integration, which is actually quite uh, robust and quite lightweight and cloud-based. Uh, and it does have a lot of out-of-the-box you know, integration scenarios for master data like products, customers, as well as transactions for sales, quotes, service, etc. cetera. Uh, for third-party integration, uh, there is limited stuff right now in uh, S4 HANA for CM. There is although some integration with service orders, uh, but that is also limited. But you can use web services, OData, services, XIF adapters, et cetera, to do integrate uh, S4 HANA uh, CM. SAP C4 HANA, as I said earlier, all has out-of-the-box integration. Again, you use SAP CPI. Uh, you can use third-party middleware as well, but SAP CPI does have a lot of out-of-the-box scenarios for in, uh, integration, uh, much easier integration with limited, uh, with some configuration and limited development, you can make it running pretty quickly. Uh, standard object extensibility, so additional adding fields and tables. So field extensibility in uh, S4 HANA CM is done using an app. It's called Custom Fields and Logic App, and that is what used for is used for uh, adding fields to an ex existing S4 HANA CM object. Although, whereas table ex extensibility uh, is being used using the AT concept. Uh, so AT is Unlike SAP CRM, where AT was being used, uh, AT is not being used for field, but it is that same concept is being uh, being used for table extensibility. Uh, Sales and Service Cloud have a tool called Key User Tool for creating custom fields, and they have a rule editor which is used for you know hiding fields, making field mandatory, displaying field, etc. Uh, in fact, even for marketing, uh, there is a uh, app for custom fields and logic. Uh, which is used for creating custom fields in a, a marketing cloud application. Next slide, please. So backend development tool, you use web UI and ABAP development. So the CRM developers who are used to doing uh, web UI and ABAP will continue doing that with some limited changes around CDS views and uh, some more stuff which Sandeep is going to talk about. Uh, and C4 HANA, you have a SAP Cloud Application Studio uh, for Sales and Service Cloud. 
uh, for commerce cloud you have java it's all java based and you use eclipse for eclipse is the tool which is used for that so who are the target customers for s4 hana customer management and who are the target customers for c4 hana so for s4 hana customer management you know customers who have sap crm and want to consolidate sap crm and sap erp you know they would want to use s4 hana customer management so you know customers who are migrating from uh, sap cc uh, to s4 hana would also want to migrate sap crm to s4 hana cm uh, customers who have sap customer service would also want to migrate to uh, sap hana uh, s4 hana cm because uh, although a customer service functionality is available uh, in uh, s4 hana it is turned off you have to turn it on and it is only available until 2025 so you don't have a choice but to go to uh, s4 hana uh, cm and lastly uh, there are customers who have uh, limited uh, functionalities and who are not ready for s4 hana or c4 hana i mean which has got uh, much more robust functionalities uh, for different areas uh, they can use s4 hana uh, cm uh, for c4 hana you know customers who want cloud solutions only and they have let's say s4 hana cloud and you know they want to have have everything in the cloud they should definitely go for c4 hana uh, customers who want to uh, want to implement commerce cloud so you know there is nothing in s4 hana for commerce cloud which or marketing uh, or you want to do mo mobile field service uh, those things you it's recommended to do uh, c4 hana again as marketing there is very limited functionality in s4 hana cm primarily around, around leads but uh, campaigns and segmentation etc is, is not there uh, yet in s4 hana cm so this will give, give you a brief idea of where you fall in and which which uh, choice you'd want to take uh, in terms of database all c4 hana products run on sap hana database uh, s4 hana uh, on cm also runs on hana database but it can't be installed on other hana products other hana products like SAP Business Suite uh, on HANA. So that's uh, some high level comparison between the two to give you an idea of what should be used where. So now we'll give it over to Sandeep so we can talk about all the technical mumbo jumbo. Uh, Sandeep, go ahead. Thank you, Ashish. So I'm going to start with the good news for SAP CRM technical consultants. The custom developments in S4 HANA for customer management still consists of Web Client UI, which is a BSP based application, which we are all aware of, that runs in a standard browser and one other API in the back end. So, customer management in S4 HANA architecture utilizes a similar model to the existing SAP CRM on premise solution. The add on draws on the same data model as SAP S4 HANA and utilizes S4 HANA components such as pricing and billing, thus eliminating the need for separate track stack for Java or T-Rex. So we don't have to uh, do the code in, in Java in CRM and also in ECC. So no more coding in both, both the systems. The web UI for SAP S4 HANA for customer management is based on the three-tier architecture framework which is presentation layer, business layer, and application layer, which is based on BSP. So the UI is harmonized with the visual appearance of SAP S4 HANA Fury 2.0 Belize theme and can be configured to meet your business needs as previously available in classical SAP CRM. The S4 HANA for customer management share the same SAP HANA database. So business objects like business partner, material, Equipment, function, location, pricing routines are harmonized, and the end user experiences the same master data. That means no more middleware is required and no duplication of objects. The old IPC and the Java virtual machine container have been replaced by SAP ERP SD pricing. So, no need to replicate pricing data and all the pricing routines won't need to be rewritten in Java IPC. SAP PO or CPI can be used as a middleware to integrate other systems. It provides a tool infrastructure to model and design business processes. 
It can be integrated with SAP, non-SAP or cloud applications using SAP PO CPI as integration tool. The advantage of using PO and CPI as middleware is that it can be prepackaged integration flows, which can be implemented or customized as per the scenarios. So for example, products in C4 HANA on cloud can be integrated with S4 HANA material using the material iFlow. Also, the customers who are already on SAP PO, they can use the same to integrate CRM on S4 HANA with other systems. However, if a middleware tool is not already in use, CPI could be considered first as it caters to wider applications both in cloud and on premise. Next slide, please. The data model in SAP S4 HANA for customer management is designed to make optimal use of the SAP S4 HANA database. The same set of master data is used in all applications involved, for example, in the areas of SAP business partner, org management, product and equipment. The new data model for customer management is much simpler and designed to reduce the data footprint in the organization. Another important part is elimination of SAP CRM middleware. As we are all aware that SAP CRM middleware was originally developed as a tool to exchange data and interact with other SAP systems such as SAP ERP and SAP PW. In classical CRM ECC integration, the business objects were exchanged via middleware. So equipment flows to I object, material to product, customer, vendor to business partner. People who have worked in, on this integration remember the issues faced where data is not replicated at times due to incorrect or missing customizing. We also need a separate resource with middleware skills to set up the system and monitor queues, errors, and BDOCs. In S4 HANA for customer management, there is no duplication of objects, and hence middleware is no longer required. Also, IPC, TTE, or transaction tax engine, and Java routines are replaced by SD pricing. So anyone who has worked on pricing will recall that any custom routine had to be rewritten in a CRM IPC. That is totally done away with. Next slide, please. Thank you. Now in classical CRM, an orders data is spread among a series of database tables. The most well-known ones are the CRMD order ADMH for header and CRMD order ADMI for item data. Although most of the business data is not stored in either of them, but persisted in other dedicated tables with the relationships maintained to CRMD linked table. In SAP HANA for customer management, the data model is made much simpler and designed to reduce the data footprint in the organization. So after consolidation, the SAP ERP customer vendor is replaced by the SAP CRM business partner. The SAP ERP material master replaces the CRM product. SAP ERP equipment replaces CRM I object. Functional location replaces I base and so on. Next slide, please. With S4 HANA for custom management, SAP has introduced a new data modeling infrastructure known as CDS or Core Data Services in SAP HANA. With CDS, data models are defined and consumed on database server rather than on application server. So CDS simplifies the way you define and consume your data models. The usage of CDS has significantly reduced the need for database join operations and CRMD order index table. And in S4 HANA for customer management, the one order model is dramatically simplified. So instead of having business data spread in different dedicated tables, we now have two flattened tables, one for header and one for item. Both contains include structures, which, which consists of field from original set like augment, partner, billing, and header, tab, header flat table CRM S4D SERVH contains fields from original header extension, and item table CRM S4, S4D SERVI contains fields from original item extension accordingly. So all the CRM technical consultants who are already familiar with using one order API in SAP CRM don't have to learn anything new. The one order API used in customer management is exactly the same as in SAP CRM. So let me explain this in how we perform a search operation. So let's say let's say we are doing a service order search. So in when we do a service order search, we see 
typically CRM CRM order read calls CRM order ADMH read DB at the database layer. This is exactly the same as in classical SAP CRM. The injection of new logic is done in the DB layer. So instead of reading the data from CRM D order ADMH, data will be read from the new tables based on the acronym in this case CRM S4D underscore SCRV underscore H. This data is then split from flat structure and converted into each segment's database buffer using the converter class. So we have converter classes like convert S4 to 10 or convert 10 to S4. And maintenance of orders will work the same as well. Instead, here one order data is converted to S4. The converter method of the respective segment and each component converter class merges data to the flat structure. So in a nutshell, the, there is only the, there is, this is only a difference from a technical point of view. CRM technical consultants would never, never really have to worry about the code inject or read or write. Thank you. Over to you, Ashish. Okay, so now we're going to do a demo. Uh, but before we do do a demo, I just wanted to show uh, show you what the process is going to look like, uh, and then we'll quickly run through the demo in a S4 HANA uh, CM system. Uh, so if you look at it, overall process is very similar to SAP CRM. Uh, you know, you have a customer calling in for a, a issue, so they will the call center agent will create a service request uh, either in the you know interaction center, which is uh, still there. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you have an interaction center role and you have a service professional role. Either or, you can do it. Uh, then you could uh, create a service quotation uh, if needed. Uh, basically, the product is out of warranty. You can get a create a service quote, send it to the customer for approval. The customer approves it. You know, then you can uh, create a follow-on uh, service order from that, or uh, you know, it can go through multiple cycles of changes, etc. Uh, service order creation can, is improved. Uh, can be done faster if you use a template. Again, service, SAP CRM also had the service templates, so you can use the similar types of service templates, uh, which are pre-filled data, and you can copy the templates over to uh, service order. Uh, you know, so in the service order, uh, one you also would have uh, items like sales items, or uh, items which are sellable, or you have spare parts or you'll have service items like you know repair diagnosis etc uh, once you release the service order again like SAP CRM uh, the sales item really creates a sales order in S4 HANA uh, so unlike SAP CRM where the order was replicated to SAP CRM uh, in this you know the order is created directly in S4 HANA and then using the shipping process you can ship it out to the customer uh, it can be billable or non-billable it depends on whether it's under warranty, etc. Uh, similarly, for spare parts, uh, you can uh, uh, create a material reservation uh, or a purchase uh, purchase requisition based on the configuration settings. Uh, it can trigger uh, either or. Uh, so the functionality is similar how the reservation is used and how the requisition and purchase order is used. And then all of them are tied to an internal order. So the release of a service order also creates an internal order, and you can probably you can get planned cost uh, from the internal order in S4, S4 HANA. Uh, once you have the order released, then the you know you have the technician uh, is assigned to the technician. Technician can go to uh, client side, customer side, and then they perform the repair, you know, using parts or you know. You, they can have travel expenses, uh, etc. Uh, uh, once they do that, they will uh, come into the system and create a service confirmation. Uh, service confirmation, if you have labor hours, it again, like SAP CRM, creates CATS posting, and you can have the functionality of CATS in S4 HANA. Uh, CATS stands for Cross Application Timesheet. Uh, and then for uh, all the parts, you know, whether it was planned or unplanned, uh, goods movement take place, takes place, and uh, you know all the hours which are charged to uh, cats, then flow the costs flow over to the internal order uh, based on the activity type and cost center uh, 
rates. Uh, similarly, you know, all the accounting documents for goods movement create the uh, uh, update the internal order with the cost for goods movement. Uh, same thing for similar thing is done for expenses as well. Uh, now, once the service confirmation has been completed, you can release it for billing. If it's out of warranty, uh, it creates a billing request. Again, similar to SAP CRM, it creates a billing request in SAP CRM as well. Uh, you can then invoice it uh, for the billing request as well as an order created earlier uh you know in this under the sales item so you can combine the two and create a uh, invoice in sd billing so s4 hana billing is used for uh, billing so basically in sap crm you had crm billing and you had sd billing so sd billing pretty much is there now there is no concept of crm billing uh, in s4 hana which obviously creates accounting document so this is a nutshell i just wanted to explain how it works and now we'll show you the demo. Uh, we'll try to, it's a very uh, basic demo in the standard uh, configured system. Uh, so in this uh, demo, uh, what we will do is, uh, we'll start from the uh, business role selection. So as you can see, you know, you have multiple business roles, uh, very, li very like uh, CRM. So the two ones, the two critical ones for service, which have been used are, you know, service employer, service professional, or the interaction center agent. Uh, so we will not use the interaction center agent, it takes more time. Uh, so we'll just go to the service professional role. Uh, however, just one thing, interaction center manager role, which used to exist, uh, is not there any longer, uh, but the interaction center agent uh, still is there. So, you know, once it starts, you can uh, look at it that the look and feel is very, uh, uh, very similar to SAP CRM web client. Uh, yeah, so you can look, and if you look on the left hand side, you see the person who's logged in, what role they can sign out from there. Uh, you can personalize it like SAP CRM, you can switch roles, etc. On the bottom left, uh, you have the recent items which you can click on. Uh, in the case of interaction center, you also have apps here. So you have different uh, apps in the interaction center, and on the top hand, you have the you know uh, telephony bar, uh, which was there in SAP CRM as well. So in the you know in the center, you can see search. So the search and create are the two commonly used work centers, which you have in uh, which you had in SAP CRM, which you have here as well. So you can search uh, transactions or you can create uh, transactions. Uh, you can also have saved searches, which will basically automatically open the transactions based on the filter which you have put in the save search. Uh, you can have widgets, web links, etc. Uh, these are all customizable. You can move them around and basically keep the ones, keep the things which you uh, want to keep in this. So what we will do is uh, we'll start with the creation of a service request and uh, in the service request you can uh, there is also uh, uh, you can there is also called templates so for example if you had very commonly used service requests like oh, i wanted to get a password reset or i want some documentation or very common things you can use that uh, template to create uh, a service request and there is also a concept of master service request and slave service request so if you get, uh, you know, for the same issue, you get calls from multiple customers. So you create, uh, you know, one master request and then track multiple service requests under that. So in this case, uh, we're going to create a service request. We'll select transaction type service request. Uh, and uh, let's say the customer has uh, reported saying, okay, there is uh, no display uh, in the equipment. So that's what will capture in the description. Uh, you can enter the customer number or you can use the drop-down selection to find the customer. Uh, in the interaction center agent role, you have that uh, account identification, uh, very similar to what SAP CRM had uh, to search for accounts. Uh, you have the fact sheet uh, as well in the, in the interaction center. So you can look at the, quickly look at uh, what are the, uh, you know, uh, past uh, historical transactions or service requests created or any open sales orders or open repairs, et cetera, et cetera. 
Now this customer in this case is assigned to multiple sales orgs and service orgs. So you get a pop-up, but you can, so the org modeler uh, is also there in, in S4HANA CM, CM, like you had in SAP CRM. And there are some tweaks which has been done in SAP uh, S4, in the org model. There is an ECC S4HANA org structure, and there you have the S4HANA CM org model. Again, it's similar to what uh, it was there in uh, SAP CRM, where you have to download the org model into SAP CRM, org structure from ECC into uh, SAP CRM. Uh, here you have to do mapping uh, between uh, sales and service orgs with the uh, uh, org structure in. Uh, S4 HANA. Uh, so you can use uh, rules uh, to automatically determine these sales and service orgs, uh, as well as you can have, you know, if, if need be, there's no rules can be defined, you can use bodies, etc., to automatically populate them. So once you do this, uh, you know, if, if the uh, product is out of warranty, then it will. Uh, select contracts, even under warranty, the contract can be there because some customers have warranty contracts also. So based on the sales org, service org, and the sold to party, you can have contract being determined. Uh, in some cases, you can also determine it based on the equipment or serial number. And uh, once you've entered the uh, uh, contract, you've selected the contract, uh, you can also categorize it. So the category modeler of SAP CRM also exists in S4 HANA CM. So you can have a multi-level category. So we just choose product and on-site uh, repair as a category. Uh, so like in SAP CRM, you can you can have knowledge articles. Uh, knowledge articles is like knowledge base, and that actually this you know the SAP CRM solution had something on solution uh, database or something like that, which was this which is going to be taken away and knowledge articles to be used. Knowledge articles were used in SAP CRM as well. So knowledge articles can be mapped to category uh, in the category modeler and they can be automatically determined as alerts uh, and it will show up as alerts or you can manually uh, find the knowledge articles uh, as well. Now you can enter the uh, equipment ID, uh, which is going to be, which is again, uh, similar to you know, equipment which were there or I, I objects which are there in SAP CRM. And it's a combination of material and serial number. Uh, uh, also, if you look on the date section, you have the requested start date and you have the requested end date. So the requested start date is today and time is now. And then uh, based on the configuration, it populates three days out. Uh, you can also have SLAs defined. So SLAs uh, are basically based on service profile and response profile. So service profile is like you're working 24 by 7 or 5 by 8, etc. And response profile is how quickly you're going to respond to. Uh, you know, it should be maybe the response should be within two hours or four hours, etc. And that is what is get populated based on the SLA uh, defined. Uh, you can also show the parties involved. So you know, employee responsible, service employee groups, sold to party, etc. Again, very similar to what, what was there in uh, SAP CRM. Uh, in addition, you can also do time recording. So for example, if you want to track time of your uh, call center agents, uh, it could be even from a costing standpoint or billable standpoint, uh, you could do that as well. It, it Once you save the service request or complete it, it creates a service confirmation which can be billed at the customer. So the time recording functionality is available. Uh, in addition, there is this checklist functionality. So the checklist can be automatically determined using the rule modeler. So the rule modeler also exists in SAP uh, S4HANA CM like uh, uh, SAP CRM had, or you can manually determine the checklist. But checklist is basically if <clears throat> if one if there are multiple agents have to work on different tasks, so you can define tasks which are which can be done sequentially or parallelly and can be assigned to different agents. Uh, and that way, you know, the task can be done more efficiently and you don't have to create multiple service requests uh, to do that. The checklist uh, basically helps you in doing that. Now, once you save it, you can also look at the transaction history. The service contract which is determined shows up in the, uh, in the, in the transaction history. 
Now the next step is really for uh, you know the troubleshooting done by the first level uh, te uh, technician. If they're not able to do it, they will then uh, uh, dispatch it to the second level technicians. And you know a, you don't see the dispatch button in a service professional role, but you can see it in the interaction center role where the dispatch uh, can be done to the next level, or you can use the root modeler to automatically dispatch the, uh, this ticket to the right person. Uh, the second level person, second level te uh, uh, technician would then uh, troubleshoot the issue. And if they're not able to troubleshoot it, they will create a service order. And <clears throat> so let's assume that uh, uh, the second level technician is not able to fix it and they want to send a technician uh, to the customer site. So they're going to create a follow-up service order for this. And uh, let's assume this was under warranty. So we don't really need a quotation for that. Uh, we'll just create a, a service order. So you can see the multiple transactions type. You select the transaction type for uh, service order. And then you will see the pop-up of uh, the item which was entered in the service request and then you can copy the item uh, so all the header fields like customer description categories <coughs> excuse me uh, equipment requested start date etc will get copied and then all the item level will get copied uh, uh, as you can see right now uh, here So in the service order, uh, you know you can uh, uh, go to the go to the line item. You can see uh, the item getting copied. Uh, you can see the pricing. So the thirty dollar pricing really comes from S four Hana pricing. Uh, you can use the template to uh, copy additional, as you mentioned earlier. You can copy specific steps which are defined. Uh, you can use a template to uh, copy you know, steps like you know you have predefined four steps or even parts can be copied over, or you can use the product proposal uh, to uh, put in parts as well. And you can always manually put in uh, uh, multiple steps and uh, parts in this also. Uh, in addition, you can also do have uh, configurable service products. Uh, in this, and that really is used uh, using advanced variant configuration. Uh, you can have, uh, you know, multiple, uh, you know, uh, you know, you can have um, service products which are uh, configurable as well. So advanced variance configuration is actually much more robust than the previous one. Like one of the big difference, there are multiple differences, advantages. One of the big ones which I came across was purchase order could not be configured at all. The sales order could be. So now with advanced variant configuration, you can do purchase order configuration as well. Uh, so if you enter parts, you can have ATP check uh, done here as well. Uh, you can also have a sales order being created if there's a sellable item. Again, based on the item categories and all that stuff, you can you know have different uh, uh, items being created. Reservations and purchase recs, etc., will be created once you release the service order. Now, you know, one question you might have is uh, once the service order is saved, how do you assign to the technician? Now, RPA functionality is not available in uh, uh, SAP S4 HANA CM. Similarly, you know, preventive maintenance uh, functionality is not available yet in uh, S4 HANA CM. Uh, you know, MRS, I think, uh, still exists in S4 HANA. You can probably leverage that, and I think that might be in the future roadmap of SAP to do. Uh, scheduling, but in this process, you can always assign a technician in the partner parties involved or partner functions, and that is how you can uh, manually assign the uh, technicians in this uh, parties involved section. Now you can save the order, and uh, you need to release it uh, like SAP CRM. And the moment you release the service order, uh, the release will trigger. Uh, the internal order, internal order creation, and all the purchase recs, and uh, if any, and reservation creation, uh, etc. As well. So, if you look at the transaction history, you can see the service request and internal order. 
and if you had parts you could have seen material reservations and purchase rights etc also the, in the transaction history so going forward let's uh, let's say the technician went to the site <clears throat> performed the repairs and uh, you know they used parts or they had travel expenses and they had they spent in some time so uh, they will then create the confirmation so go ahead and create a follow up uh, uh, confirmation for this uh, you can have a follow up confirmation or you can create individual standalone confirmations as well uh, both the options are available and uh, because of the one order framework you know whether it's service request to service order or service order to serv uh, service confirmation uh, you can use copy control you can use actions uh, you can use uh, partner determination etc so select the transaction type service confirmation and all the information of customer equipment uh, uh, description etc will get copied over so you can select the item also within the service orders it may be one or more whether it's part whether it is parts or steps repair steps uh, in addition you can also do further categorization using the category modeler uh, you know you can see below the reference objects you can enter the fault codes uh, additional fault codes and then you can go and change uh, uh, you can also uh, change the quantity here and make it let's say make it two and uh, you can see the price got determined as well and uh, in addition you can also use uh, attachments so you know you can attach a picture of the repaired product or post and pre-repaired you can add notes any detailed comments which you want to put at the header of the item uh, you can do that as well and uh, uh, you can then save the confirmation and once you save the confirmation uh, it will uh, it, can, it will generate the billing request uh, based on the configuration settings and you can then complete the confirmation and that is what really triggers uh, you know, all the follow-on processes in uh, S4HANA so this is a nutshell about uh, the quick demo end-to-end. Uh, -end. I mean, you can do that. We can do a similar thing for leads, opportunities, and quotes, uh, but we just uh, stuck with service for now. So let's get back to the presentation. Uh, Sandeep, go ahead. Thank you, Ashish. So currently the tools available for migration are limited. Uh, automated migration tools are still under development. Migration tool of service products to SAP S4 HANA service product has been developed. A new material type in SAP S4 HANA has been created for mapping fields like response profile, service profile, extra. Migration tools for activities and contacts will be available in the next release in September 2019. Existing CRM customers have the option to upgrade SAP ECC to S4 HANA and keep SAP CRM as a separate system. They will have to integrate SAP S4 HANA with SAP CRM using CRM middleware to continue working. As a part of SAP S4 HANA conversion, sufficient time has to be allocated to enhancing and testing SAP CRM integration. Second option is the hybrid option in which customers can migrate a subset of functionality. For example, sales to SAP S4 HANA for customer management and continue using field service in SAP CRM. Data synchronization between two systems will be done using SAP S4 HANA. We can incrementally move SAP CRM processes to SAP S4 HANA for customer management options. The move from SAP CRM to S4 HANA is not simple and needs thorough planning. There is still plenty of missing functionality in SAP S4 HANA for customer management, like changes in business processes as well as changes in data models. For example, sales order created in SAP CRM will now need to be created in SAP S4 HANA. Care needs to be taken for ensuring all these items are incorporated in the design. New customers can start their implementation directly in S4 HANA for customer management. Regarding the migration, 
Nested data like business partner, material, equipment, functional location should be in S4 HANA already. Uh, we could use middleware content or data migration tools. Master data is typically, typically migrated using data migration cockpit. Predefined templates can be created using the cockpit and is used for loading data in SAP S4 HANA. Templates can be modified using data migration cockpit. The other option is to use SAP data services. Now the customizing has to be done manually in SAP S4 HANA for customer management as there is no tool for migration. Configuration structure and content is similar in both SAP CRM and S4 HANA for customer management. IMG configuration for SAP S4 HANA for customer management can be found in IMG under the customer management node. SAP S4 HANA table customizing tables are used for customizing. Although SAP CRM customizing tables are also available, but they are not used. All the custom code has to be done manually, but all the supported objects are based on mostly identical frameworks and object implementations. Calls to known supported objects or direct calls to database like CMD order ADMH or order ADMI will no longer work. Any custom enhancements and custom applications will need to be tested and potentially adjusted to ensure they work with SAP S4 HANA for customer management. Transactional data, short term business transactions can be closed. However, longer running transactions pose challenges to carry over SAP S4 HANA for customer management due to the changes in one order framework in S4 HANA. Any open SAP CRM transactions must be migrated manually at this point of time. Before planning on migration, cost versus value for migrating historical transaction data should be considered. Generic migration tools are in the roadmap for future releases. Next slide, please. So you can temporarily reactivate the old SAP ERP CS code in SAP S4 HANA until 2025 to help customers who want to gradual transaction transition from SAP ERP CS to SAP CRM based service management functionality. So existing customers need to analyze if the extent of changes can be met by S4 HANA service and migrate during the initial migration to S4 HANA. There is a potential of lack of functionality in SAP S4 HANA for customer management. Care should be taken that critical functionality needed to run the business should be available in S4 HANA for customer management. New customers should consider implementing S4 HANA service directly. Further investments in CS are not recommended. So either wait for CRM functionality to be developed in S4 HANA or look at implementing C4 HANA or key for key functionality, especially in the areas of commerce, marketing, or mobile enabled features. The change from CS to S4 HANA service will be a migration project. SAP GUI based customer interaction center was customer service and contact center operations are no longer supported. SAP S4 HANA for customer management has to be used for this. Similarly, knowledge articles in SAP S4 HANA for customer management should be used instead of solution database of SAP. Master data migration. S4 HANA data migrated during S4 HANA conversion can be reused. However, there is a difference with integration into financials and logistics. Customers and vendors need to be converted to business partner as a part of S4 HANA migration using CVI tool. All the custom code or configuration needs to be redone manually. So all custom code has to be written again based on the new design of business processes. Transaction data and data processing is totally different in SAP S4 HANA for customer management. Service notification in SAP ECC is replaced by service request and they work very differently. Future roadmaps will cover the full CS functionality in SAP S4 HANA service. Thank you. Over to you, Ajay. So this is Ashish here again. So we only have a minute left. I'm trying to quickly answer, uh, go through this and uh, if you have any questions, we'll try to answer, or you can leave the questions around and we'll get back to you. But uh, S4HANA CM was released in February 2008, and the key functionality which was delivered was interaction center, uh, as well as service. So service request, service order, service, service confirmation, and then you know visual harmonization of the Fury look and feel. Uh, the next release in October 2018 was around sales, so basically leads, activities, opportunities, 
you know, etc., was released, and then a solution quotation, which was really uh, uh, supported uh, product bundles and support for product bundles and uh, uh, configurable products was also introduced. Uh, product bundle is a bundle of sales and service products. Uh, then this year in February 2009, additional for service functionality around service contracts was added. Uh, integration of field service management, uh, field service cloud, which is core systems to S4 ANA was added. Fiori roles, uh, enterprise searches was also added. So with Fiori roles, you don't have to embed Fiori applications. You can just click on the Fiori application link and take the Fiori application. Uh, then migration of service products which is basically, you know, there's a new material type created and all the response profiles and service profiles could be migrated. That was provided by SAP. In S4, September 2019, the big, biggest one is going to be architectural change of merging the add-on into the core, which means no installation is required. It will be part of S4 HANA. Then somebody asked a question on complaints and repairs. So complaints, returns and repairs will be in 1909 release. And then there'll be a migration support of activities and contracts. So basically, you can help. SAP is going to uh, get more function, uh, migration support added for different objects and transactions. But for now, it's going to be activities and contracts only. I'll thank you and I'll hand it over to back to Ajay. Uh, thank you, Ashish. We are uh, short of uh, time today. Uh, but still, uh, we would uh, pick up a couple of questions. For rest of uh, question, we will respond uh, by email. Uh, so we have uh, one question: Can resource scheduling be done in S4 HANA CM? So Ashish, would you like to take this? Yeah. So I think I mentioned that. So the resource planning uh, tool, which was there in uh, SAP CRM, is no longer available in uh, S4 HANA CM. And uh, you know, MRS does exist in uh, S4 HANA. So there may be a future roadmap of introducing that uh, using MRS. You know, MRS does work for S4 HANA, you know, service orders and uh, et cetera. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Uh, there's one more question we can pick. Uh, how are the custom uh, enhancement like uh, field extensions done in S4 HANA for customer uh, management? Uh, is AET still uh, used? Uh, maybe Sandeep? Uh, you would like to take this uh, question? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ajay. So since AT does not support CDS views like core data services, so field extensibility in S4 HANA for customer management makes use of already present S4 HANA app, which is custom fields and logic. So whether you are extending S4 HANA core or CRM add-on, it would be same. Thanks. Thanks, Sandeep. Uh, thank you, Ashish and Sandeep. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, for attending today's webinar. Uh, you will receive a follow-up email uh, with a link to view a recording of today's webinar, and we will respond to uh, a number of questions that we received today through uh, email. Uh, on behalf of Accrete and our presenters, thank you for joining us today, and uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone.